Hello, this is Steve Darcy with Go Engineer, and today I've got a, a little bit of a problem where I need to uh, model up a pipe going from, uh, we'll say, call this guy A, and I need to go to B down here. So, got a different in elevation. Also, if we look straight down on it, they're at different angles. Uh, this one's kind of also a little bit twisted. So, uh, we've got a couple little things we've got to do to, to make this thing work and function. And the client that I'm dealing with right now does only has SOLIDWORKS standard, so they don't have premium. If they had premium, then of course they could turn on SOLIDWORKS routing and they could route this using some piping techniques. Um, I'm going to go and show it in routing real quick. So I'm going to just drag and drop a little flange on. When I do that, I'll just accept the defaults for the uh, route properties. And it puts the flange in and creates this little thing called a stub. And the little stub is actually part of a 3D sketch. Now when I'm in the 3D sketch, the thing that you really have to know is where you're going from and where you're going to. So if I drag and drop another flange on, you'll see it'll create a stub, pipe stub. And then with the pipe stubs, we could actually go to our auto route and we can route from one portion of that to the other. And notice it automatically creates that. Um, I can toggle through a next solution if I want to. Uh, but and so I mean the main thing is that of course SolidWorks routing can can automatically do that stuff for us. All right, I'm going to delete those real quick. But this is the main workflow: is of course that I have a stub coming out of here and a stub coming out from here. So I'm just going to finish out of that. I don't really want that. We're going to delete that. And we're going to create this just using the regular uh, a part template. Before I do that, uh, there is kind of a little sneaky thing that you got to realize, um, or something to kind of set up if possible. Um, this tank over here is actually lined up on the X, Y, and Z axis. So I have you can kind of see that these uh, flanges that are coming out of here, the pipes, are actually aligned uh, right here with my front plane. Kind of see how they are. This guy's not really aligned with anything. He's kind of twisted off to the side. Um, so when I create my first part, I want to make sure that I create it on this one. That way, when I start creating some stuff, I'm along the X and the Y axis. Okay. It's not necessary, but when you get to more complex pipe routes and tubes and stuff, or electrical wires, then that makes it a little bit easier. All right. So let's go to town. Let's get the assembly. We're going to say a new part. Sure, we'll go ahead and save that. I'll just use regular part template. It's got inches. And when I start sketching, I want to start sketching on this face. And I'm just going to steal that circle right there. We'll finish out of the sketch. Then I'm going to create a new sketch. So I'm going to hit the sketch button. It's going to ask me, where do you want to create a sketch? I'm going to pick that face. Let me rotate around in there, and I'm going to steal that edge, convert it, and that's pretty much it. I just want my two sketches out there. That's that's really all I need. All right, we'll go back up to the top level of the assembly. Uh, when I go into the part, I'm going to use this second little button, open part in position. That way, when it opens up the part, everything's zoomed in to the way that I want. And now all I need to do is create a 3D sketch to kind of go out from these things and connect them. Now in this case, it's going to be a formed part. It's going to be a formed pipe. And uh, so I'm going to start with a 3D sketch. I'm just going to get the line command. I'll start at the origin there. I can hit the tab key. And this is where that kind of helps out is I can go along the Z direction and come straight off of that. Okay. If I did create planes, then I could select the line in the plane and make a relationship on plane. But uh, that's pretty good for right now. All right, now the tricky thing is I need to put, uh, this one was at a weird angle, so how do I get a line coming straight out of there? Well, it's not too crazy. I'm going to drag and go to that end, drag from the center, go off this way, and then I'm going to drag and just go off, click this one out in space. So I've Created three lines, two of them intersect the origin. One goes to the outside, one goes to the outside. So I'm going to pick on two of these, make them perpendicular. So now I've got 90 degrees between those. 
Then I'm going to make this guy and this guy perpendicular. So I'm holding down control. Then I'm going to make this guy and this guy perpendicular. And what that does is it makes sure that that comes uh, normal to that circle coming out of there. Now these guys, I don't want to use them in the sketch. So I'll make them construction. And you can kind of see it doesn't really matter where these guys lie. Wherever they are, they're always 90 degrees apart. This guy's coming straight out of there. All right, and that's pretty much it. Uh, if I know where it's coming out, I know it's coming out here. Maybe I'll put some dimensions on here. So we get smart dimension, and let's just make that 40. Oh, that's a little big. Let's make that, uh, we'll make it 20. And we'll make this the same. Make it 20. Then I'm just going to do a line in between the two. So go endpoint to endpoint. And what that does is it gives me uh, a nice, pretty much two bins in my pipe. I'm going to go and make it a little bit bigger. 22. I can say equal sign. I'm going to make it equal to that guy. So next time, all I got to do is change that one, and it'll update both. And that looks pretty good. All right, then I'm just going to use the fillet command. And let's put a big fillet in there. See what 20 looks like. And I'll put them both at the same time. That way, it'll link them together. That actually looks really good. So I'll say OK. And that's pretty much it. That's going to be my formed pipe. I'll go ahead and finish out of the sketch. Uh, there's a new feature in 2015. They enhanced it a little bit. I now do a swept boss or base with a circular profile. Select on that profile. Change that guy to, I don't know, two inches. And then I can also do it as a thin feature. So that way it's actually a pipe. Looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and turn off my sketches. We'll do a control tab that'll take me back to the assembly. And now I've got a good looking pipe that goes from one component to the other. So you can use that technique, pretty much three lines, and then use the, uh, the fillet tool to get a really nice smooth pipe from pretty much uh, any two locations. So I hope this helped and have a great day. Thanks. Mm -hmm.